What's going on everybody? It's Boopy here and I'm continuing my Let's Play on Slide 3 Honor Among Thieves. In the last part we finished up um, an opera of fear. We um, defeated Octavio and now we're um, moving on to the next land of this game. Rumble down under. So let's start this episode. At first, it seemed just like old times. The gang was back in action. But little by little, we learned that Murray's heart just wasn't in it. Without the guru's permission to give up on his dreamtime training, he'd never really feel comfortable returning to the gang. We knew we needed to help him out. So, we packed up our things, whipped up some quick disguises, and headed for the Australian Outback. Along the way, Murray told us story after story about his teacher's amazing abilities. Apparently, this guru of his was capable of fantastic feats. He used the dream time to blend perfectly into his surroundings, and even gain mental control over the weak-minded. If even half the stories were true, then this was a guy I just had to meet. Our gang needed to grow its ranks for a chance to get inside the Cooper vault. And this guru, this outback mystic, was looking like the best recruit we could have ever asked for. However, when we finally arrived in the outback, it was a shock to find that things had changed. And the guru was nowhere to be seen. Okay, I guess we're trying to look for the guru. Or somebody. Or just get the guru's permission, because that's what Murray wants. We don't want to do those. Okay, so slide. Let's go. The miners have really tore this place up looking okay. for hope. Okay, uh, what's the mission? Watch your step. They're sure to get rough defending their claim. Where are we even go? Oh, search for guru. Okay, I can really use paraglider. Please, when is it gonna come? It's so useful and so needed. My master spends most of his time up there in that cave, overlooking the valley and contemplating the depths of deepness. I really appreciate you breaking the news to him that I want to break off my training. No problem, pal. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Anybody you call master must be a heck of a guy. Oh, he's awesome. He'll get inside your head. Wow, six ways from Sunday. Uh, awesome. Okay. Looks like the marker wants us to go there. I don't care, guy. Oh, he jumps on me! I hate when they start throwing rocks. It takes away a lot of luck. Too bad he can't reach me now. Okay, the guru's in here. Sorry, pal. This cave's empty. Got any other ideas where he might be? Well, no. His hut. But he doesn't really hang out there on account of the smell. The smell? It's a long story. I had to apologize up and down for like a month before he'd speak to me again. What did you do? The unspeakable sly. The okay, so Thanks for speaking of let's it, go to the I'm hut. For the hut. Okay. <laughs> Bang! First bad guy down. Woo! I don't want to get in a fight with that doggy. Why are these? Animals. 
doing construction. How dare you? Bah! I'm up here. Okay, we go right there. Oh yeah, treasure. My loot. Bronze pen. You are cheap. Come here. This place is packed with oh, we learned that in a slide too. If you guys don't remember, we have to we can like push ourselves. Yeah. Okay. So where's that hut? Uh, okay, there it is. Guru, are you here? Sorry, Murray. Nobody's home. By the looks of it, I'd say the Guru is fighting someone or something off here. I'm starting to think the miners might have got to him. You might be right. They come in and be all angry and yelling and he be all peaceful and they just get ticked. Then he try to find a middle way and they just go crazy and smash everything up and then haul them off. Where do you think they might have taken him? They got him. My master's a goner. Maybe we should get Bentley on the line. It's tough to say, but given the layout of the miners' camp, I'd venture a guess that they use that area with a high fence as a makeshift stockade. Hmm. Looks like there might be a way up using that cliff below. Shouldn't be a problem. Just keep an eye out for that gyrocopter. I'm positive it's what gave away the guru's position. Good tip. Thanks, pal. Okay. Where's the gyro? Okay, it's right there. So we got time. But it would be really easy if we had a paraglider just fall over there. Not fall flat. Oh no. I'm not here. Okay. Okay, where were we? Not the Okay, right here. I do this for daily. I'm trying to just get the goo, so if you don't mind, let me just go there. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you. Good job. So I go. Good. Good job. Thanks to the helicopter. Thank you. Give me that. Okay, there we are. The guru. I'm a good friend of Murray's. He's come asking to be released from his training. Sure, I'll just bust you out of here and we'll go talk to him. Hi, You seriously won't leave without your gear? Yeah, I can see that the miners have really done a number on your land here. As for your walking staff and moonstone, me and my gang have a real talent for stealing back things that were wrongfully taken. What do you say? Okay, how was I gonna understand this one? until he has his walking staff and his moonstone. He also insists that we purify Ayer's Rock of all miners. Only then will the Dreamtime spirits be appeased and the Guru will be free to use his powers. 
Sly must have impressed him in their conversation, because now he is requesting that Murray and I meet with him individually. Something about judging our spiritual centers. I've discovered a passage for one of the miners' caves that should make getting up to the guru less difficult. He also mentioned that the miners had foolishly unearthed the mask of dark earth. I guess it was his job to guard the thing, and now that it's out, bad things are sure to follow. Sounds like mumbo jumbo to me, but we've encountered some unexplainable wow. phenomena over the years, so I'm not gonna rule it out as a threat to our operation. I hated that Contessa part. So. <laughs> huh.